Time for that business. So, the CR10 is back on the table and we are going to take a look at the electronics, the brain that makes a 3 pinner work. Oh wow, that is tidy. A fairly beefy power supply able to supply 30 amps at 12 volts. And look at this, why can't everyone do this? So take a look of how every single wire is secured with a crimp connector, which basically means that you will have good and reliable connectivity, which is great from a safety perspective. Adequate 12 gauge silicone wire, it's properly grounded, a fused AC connection, and and what? All right, all right, so most of the times the controller, the motherboard of these cheap Chinese printers, if you will, is not rated to supply the high current of the heated bed. Now, in reality, they went the extra mile of installing an external MOSFET. This is probably the most common upgrade, and the fact that they already installed one. Good job. Unfortunately, I could not find too much information about the motherboard. I know it's a Melsi, Melsi controller with a Marlin firmware and apparently it can do plus 200 hours with no problem. So it gotta be good, right? If you would like to add anything, write me a little something in the comments below. What is the conclusion, Simon? Well, simply the level of organization, the connectors, the, the external MOSFET, I mean, all these measures for safety and reliability makes it stand out. I am not saying it is 100%, but based on my observation, I think it's very good. What else have I been up to? Well, I have printed a few large objects, you know, long endurance prints, uh, like this Terminator head. Though it didn't end up very good because someone was thinking he was using PLA while in fact he was using ABS. I also printed the enormous rocket up there. Well, actually, let me get it down. So this was actually printed with a layer height of 0.3 millimeters, and it was only 20 hours of printing time, which I think is fairly impressive considering the size. As a fan of the Terminator movies, I just knew I had to print a new one. And while we are at it, why not make it huge? Warping straight to the printing and as you can see this is gonna be a huge Terminator. This is the first failed one and as you can see it is significantly larger In fact, this is 180% scale and the limiting factor is not the building area But actually the one kilogram uh, of uh, PLA filament silver PLA filament Simplify 3D estimated 310 meters of filament and usually there is around 340 meters and you want to be on the safe side, right? I'm running a time lapse on the GoPro Hero 5 Black and hopefully that will turn out awesome. So here we go. It is the next day and it has been printing all night. We are currently 17 hours into the print and we are not even halfway there. Well, it's gonna be a lot of hours before this one is done, but I'm really looking forward to it. Just look at the size of this. You remember me whining of not having enough filament, so in order to save plastic, I reduced the number of perimeters to two and the infill all the way down to 5%, which is really low. Well, I played myself. So basically, the low infill percentage, as you can see here, uh, makes it very difficult for the top layers to stack on anything because there is nothing there causing these holes, as you can see here on the side. White phone? About the white phone? Well, the support kind of flew off, so I had to improvise. HighQualityTripod.com Cool transition right now. I'll be back. Ooh, 
that is 800 grams of pure awesomeness. I am looking at it and some parts looks great, but some areas just doesn't look right. Now going back to my slicing software, I could see a lot of glitches with the model. Learn from my mistakes and use a higher info percentage than 5% and double check your model before printing. That's, that's my biggest tip. Still looks great though. I, I would say that I feel comfortable to leave this on for a long period of time. Well, more comfortable than most other printers. The electronics inside here is way better than what I normally see when it comes to safety and external MOSFET and solid connections is essential and I think Creality did a great job addressing these issues that a lot of other printers still face. Alright, thank you so much for watching, have a nice day, bye.